The universe can fool you. I'm going to tell you why this golf ball has a much softer surface than you think. An electron's energy exists as a mystical cloud around the atom's nucleus. Scientists describe it by using a probability equation like this. Hey baby, what's this? Three. This equation can answer the question, where is the electron? Where the cloud is dense, the chance of finding the electron there is higher than where the cloud is thin. There are many equations that have been formulated depending on the energy level of the cloud and its shape around the nucleus. Hey baby, what's three in Spanish? Trace. For example, this equation means that the cloud is further from the nucleus compared to the first one. It is of higher energy. A photon is generated when this second equation shifts to the first one. Because the equation's changes are exact, the amount of energy in the photon is exact too. It radiates as an electromagnetic wave until it reaches an atom that accepts it. Hey baby, what's this? Quattro. When the photon is absorbed, the electron's energy cloud changes from this equation to this. Just the reverse of the process that produced it. Electron cloud equations are the best scientists can do in describing energy in a stored form. They don't know what energy is because it can't be defined as being made of something else. Nor is it made of smaller pieces. It is a wispy material that they define by observing what it does. One piece of energy changes another. You're so smart. Energy makes up the entire universe. Everything that has form is the accumulation of bundles of stored energy called atoms or molecules. It seems so real to you because it has a tangible surface, volume, momentum, and interacts with gravity. When you touch a golf ball, it's hard, but on the microscopic level, it is soft. Touching it is really the energy bundles of your finger interacting with those of the golf ball. Here's one molecule from your finger and another from the golf ball. He wants a cookie. The electron clouds are represented by the fading color as you move away from the nucleus. The negatively charged electron cloud repels other negatively charged clouds. The more they overlap, the more they repel each other. Aaron, give him a cookie. Look at a plot of these two electron cloud densities. In the first plot, there is little repulsion. But as they get closer, the force increases. The clouds push away from each other. As your finger gets close to the golf ball, it pushes your finger away. This keeps your finger from going through the golf ball. Here you go. Also, the interaction sends signals to your brain. The signals say that the golf ball is something tangible. Thus, you think that the golf ball has a hard edge, but it is really gazillions of soft electron clouds in the golf ball repelling those in your finger. It's hard on a macro scale, but wispy on the micro. Keep thinking, and I look forward to your feedback. Please leave your comments and questions below, or contact me at my email address. Until the next video, remember, humility, thanks, and joy. Hey Phil, thanks for watching.